Hello, my name is Carlos Morales. I am the Vice President of Artificial Intelligence here at AMBIC, and I'd like to take the opportunity to talk about a few of the things the AI team is working on for the Apollo 4 family of products. AI is a compute and memory intensive operation. The embedded AI developer's life is all about compromises. You're trying to get the maximum accuracy and performance out of a model without sacrificing too much of that battery life. Inevitably, we have to make compromises. What the Apollo 4 family's ultra-efficient compute buys us is the expansion of that compromise envelope. We can do a lot more uh, in the same uh, battery uh, envelope as other devices. And we use that to good effect. For example, we might implement the same model, but extend the battery life. A slightly more exciting for the AI developer is to increase the accuracy or the feature capabilities of that model by adding classification classes and so on. And so that makes the model uh, more accurate, more useful, and brings joy to your customers. But the most exciting thing is doing things that weren't practical before. Uh, maybe there's a, a, like an audio demo that you saw in a lab, and what the demonstrator didn't tell you is by the end of that demo, the battery is gone. We can start thinking about those kinds of problems in a practical way. What's ultra exciting is that this graph is not to scale. When we measured AI, the industry standard benchmarks on the Apollo 4 Plus, we found that we were able to compute the same inference, apples to apples comparison, as other devices in about 13 times less power utilization. And that's what it looks like. It brings home the fact that 13x is a big number. And, and so we're able to do much more sophisticated things basically the AI is almost coming for free. All that was left to the AI team was to take full advantage of this capability. To that end, Ambic built a world-class team of AI data scientists. Uh, and we're working on two things. We're working on a model zoo, which is a collection of sophisticated, high-quality models that are relevant to our customers. So the, some of these models are, for example, an ECG analyzer that will tell you have arrhythmia based on a single lead ECG, which is typical to a wearable device. We have some speech processing models that do keyword spotting and command words so that your customers can implement uh, speech UIs. These models aren't just over the wall kind of models. We include everything you need to develop that model for yourself. All the training scripts, all the data prep scripts, instructions and Jupyter notebooks that explain exactly how to do it step by step. They're all built on something called NeuralSpot. NeuralSpot is an SDK and a collection of tools created by AI developers for AI developers. It includes libraries that simplify access to all of Apollo 4's peripherals such as audio and I2C, simplifies optimal power settings, it abstracts everything that's not AI from the AI developer's uh, process. We also recognize as we were developing our AI models that there's a lot of friction when you're trying to develop something on a laptop where you're running Python and you have gigabytes of RAM, and then you're compressing it to run on an embedded device. So we created a set of tools that let you treat your embedded device as if it were part of your laptop or vice versa. You can treat your laptop as if it were part of your embedded device. And this is extremely useful for testing your models without having to compress them, for example, or for collecting real sensor data and having it analyzed on your laptop instead of your embedded device. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to working with all of you in implementing the next generation of AI features on Apollo 4 devices.